guys welcome back to the channel good morning from me to you guys even if you're not watching it in the morning good morning hope you guys have a wonderful day I am at Andy's house and we are going to the CarMax auction again because of the coronavirus uh, and CarMax does auctions in person only me and Andy are trying to score some cars for a good price I guess we'll see what's gonna happen but Guys, this is what I came on to Andy's place. And I'm gonna show you what we're taking. No, 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 not that. We're taking this. Andy said he's wanted one of these bikes for a very long time, especially in this color. And I don't think I've ever seen one in person in this color. But this Porsche he got from Bring the Trailer, uh, it's a one out of one color, special color, factory color, convertible, turbo, with a six speed. But we're taking this thing, and I have actually been very curious how well it drives, because he said it's amazing. He has trickle chargers for <laughs> for all of the cars. No alarm, no alarm, okay. Just look at this thing. Wing up and everything. Aha, uh -huh. got it figured out. Okay. I want to start it, but I don't want to start it. It's not my car. There he is. Hola. <gasps> Am I good to start it? Heck yeah. Oh, I heard the valves change. European muscle car. Is losing it in the truck over the car. You can roll down his window. He don't got no mirror. And this thing corners insanely. The fuzz right there. Oh, he's waiting. He got his radar out and everything. We made it, but we saw some people leave, so I actually don't know if it was canceled or not. I guess we'll find out, but I see people there. I don't see any cars, but I think, oh, there's a car coming through. I think we're good. I don't know details on that. They're asking 375 for that Volvo. Looks like it's gonna sell. Look at what I found. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that's a beauty.
ZR1, these don't come around often. That carbon fiber. Wow. If I were to get a Corvette, this would be the Corvette I'd get. We only stayed through like 20 cars. Prices are crazier than they were last week. So we're just gonna dip out. No point of wasting time. Take the GTI that I drove in here on to uh, Mannheim. See if we could move it there and kind of go from there, I guess. This is a view you will not get tired of. We are hungry with no purchases or sales. What do I have in my pocket? Oh, look at that. What was the amount before we ordered it? Oh, look at this menu. I am too hungry for this. Oh, man. As always, I have leftovers. Let's grab that. Let's get it paid and let's head back to Andy's. What a treat this was. Thank you to Andy for the wonderful ride. Man, it's quick. It's a twin turbo. But there's like no turbo lag, which is honestly really crazy because like this GTI that I'm driving, it's a turbo and it has lag. It's not anything, you know, crazy, but you definitely feel the lag. The, the AMG GT. As soon as he punches it, it's almost like a supercharger. It just goes. There's and it pulls hard. We are leaving one AMG, two AMG, and three AMG, and going back to the lot. Got to take care of a few things there. And want to answer the question for the YouTube this headline: What does the coronavirus mean for car dealers? Well, when uh, buying cars, it means absolutely nothing because cars today at the CarMax auction are going for crazy prices. I mean, like cars with over 200,000 miles going for 16, 1700 bucks plus fees. That's two grand, over 200,000 miles. It's insane. And what it means for selling is clearly less people are shopping around for a car. So not only are cars selling for crazy money still, but the buyers are just not really there. People are in a panic mode. Like if you have a car, you know, most people are trying to hold on to their money so they could buy groceries, so they could buy toilet paper, all the good stuff. If you don't need a car, you are probably are not looking for a car unless you know you don't care about the coronavirus and you're kind of smart and you know that right now you'll probably get the best deals so i think right now is probably a really really good time to buy a car for you guys so look around i'm sure you will find some really really good prices right now i have made it to the lot i actually checked my mail and i Finally got the title I was waiting for So right now what I need to do is Grab these mats grab this coolant and Check the level on This Audi I drove it yesterday from Andy's place about 20 miles It did not overheat But I had like very very little heat coming through the vents and then it was cold again like Engine was up to temp, but absolutely no heat. So I'm thinking maybe it's a little low on coolant and the heater core is just not filled up enough to push it through. You guys see that level? This is what I think the problem is. You want that coolant to be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna add coolant to it, start her up, let it run, and then put the mats in. And I apologize if it's a little windy and you guys have noise coming through. So I did that. Let's get this thing started. And I didn't put the cap on because I want to squeeze the radiator hoses. All right, we're going to let her warm up. And as it's warming up, I'm going to massage the radiator hose, make sure there are no bubbles. 
in the system that would prevent heat going through. I don't see anything by squeezing it. Usually you would see the level go up and down. Well, there's a little bit, but no bubbles. But let's, let's let it warm up. Only a few minutes passed and I feel this uh, upper radiator hose is starting to get warm. Although I still don't really see any bubbles, but I think I could close this up. And let's jump in and see if a few minutes got us any heat. But this is a really nice Audi. It is very well optioned. I mean, it has a navigation screen. Let's kill that, except if you guys will see it. There we go. The convertible top works. It's really clean and really good miles. Just 89,000 on it. I don't even know what this does. Yeah. Uh, so no heat just yet but it's only now starting to warm up. But honestly, something tells me that it's probably a heater core issue. Um, Cause I mean, it's cold, cold and it's starting to warm up. But I guess we'll see. I think I'm gonna have to leave the car here. I gotta go to Mannheim, drop off a car for Andy. The GTI that I'm actually driving, we're gonna try to run it through the dealer auction since the prices are crazy. See if someone is going to snag it on there. And I gotta come back here. I have a few buyers lined up and I guess we will see what the rest of the day will bring for us. The most suspicious part is that temperature, the engine temperature goes up rather quickly. I mean, this car has been running for probably less than five minutes and it's allegedly up to temperature, but I have absolutely no heat, which is really unfortunate. So we'll have to tackle this issue a little bit later. Starting to get same symptoms as yesterday. It gets up to temperature and then the heat starts to come in. I mean, I vaguely feel it and it's mainly coming from this vent. This one isn't even blowing that hard, neither is this one. But I have, I mean, it's getting pretty warm. Not where I would want it to be, but it's getting there. And this one is shut off. And this one is still somewhat cool. Oh, who knows? Maybe adding coolant will help it. Just need to let it run. All right, but seriously, <laughs> I don't have I don't have time to let it run. Let's get to Mannheim. I just can't quit. There's my bubbles. So it actually might be just bubbles in the system. See, that should not be happening. Andy said uh, his mechanic did work on it. He's gonna send me the invoice, what was done to it. But if the radiator was replaced or something coolant related and it just wasn't bled all the way, this very well could be our issue. Okay, for the fifth time, seriously, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I have been daily driving this GTI for the last three or four days. Honestly, very kind of happy and impressed with it. The shift is what I absolutely love. They are so crisp and so quick. Love it. Guess what I have inside the car with me? Yup, you know what that means? There's no plate on the car. Thankfully, I have only like two miles to go until Mannheim, so odds are pretty slim, but you never know. Boys, I made it. No tickets, no nothing. Look how clean that day looks. Let's head out. I think I saw my ride. I always get to drive. The GTA has been dropped off, and let's get back to the lot. What do you guys see wrong with this picture? This guy does not realize that Costco has long hoses that reach both sides. It's not really the sign on every one. Look, long hose, fuel either side. He's literally backing up to the side where his gas tank is. Made it to the lot and there's a lot going on. Taking the Cayenne to Mannheim. Still windy here. 
had to move that out of the way. Bio for this canceled. Bio for the minivan rescheduled for tomorrow. Audi still letting it run. See if we get any heat coming through it. Still absolutely no heat. Still getting a lot of bubbles. Which honestly, if this is the issue for it, then that sucks that so-called mechanics do their work and don't finish it. Because Andy sent me the invoice as a new water pump and a few other coolant related things that were replaced on it. So I'm assuming the system just wasn't bled properly. I thought today's video was gonna be short, but I got my brother coming and we're gonna go pick up a nice three series wagon that he picked up from IAA. Alrighty, so Cayenne has been dropped off. It's not as windy anymore. I am very hot, but I'm wearing, you know, this big, big, big jacket. We're gonna grab the Chrysler right now and we're going to IA to pick up his BMW, right? Yeah. Right. We just made it to IA. Check out this G35. You know that exhaust ain't stock. <laughs> it's like motorcycle pipes. If I'll see it leaving, I'll try to get a sound clip. There we go. Look at that beautiful deep blue. Man, it looks clean too. Check fluids. Oh, this is the exact same color I had. I remember the blue. Show you guys what it is. Oh, focus. There we go. Fresh. Yeah, fresh, fresh, fresh. Oh, look, it has parking sensors, heated seats, by xenon headlights sport seats tires look to be great and i've actually had a car it might have been a bmw with the exact same tires and they were fantastic all in all a pretty good car the problem is andre just tried to start it oh this wind andre tried to start it and it started and then it died so we're gonna try to see what's up and the other damage right here is this wheel is pushed back wouldn't be surprised if it was rubbing in turns. Start her up. Oh, that's not good. It's trying. Right, we got it to start, but it's misfiring. Oh, I could see the motor right there. Yeah, it's missing pretty bad. Loki feel bad for Andre because I've had these cars before and it sucks. So good news and bad news. Uh, good news is there's some other guys picking up a Hemi Chrysler 300 and they needed uh, a jump. And the bad news is the jump box is in a Cayenne. The other bad news is the Cayenne is at Mannheim. So we got to go back to Mannheim and grab the jump box. Got it. The Cayenne did not move one spot, but it got stickered and everything, so it's gonna get moved soon, but I'm glad I got the jump box. Now, let's head back to the lot and see where my brother is with the BMW. If he made it or not, because he said he is gonna try to drive it back. We will see him shortly, or maybe we'll find him on the side of the road. Hope not, because it's kind of... That feels more likely. Yeah, but you know, it's peak hour, so I hope it doesn't happen, but we'll see. Looks like brother made it. Said after it kind of warmed up and ran for a little bit, it was totally fine, yeah? yeah. Did it rub? Yeah. The wheel? Okay. 
Yeah, it's definitely not missing anymore. Yeah, sorry about the wind. These tires are nearly new, but this uh, wheel is definitely lame. And it's rubbing pretty bad. There it is. Moving, 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 everything around. It's a beautiful BMW. So I totally thought that this video was gonna be a lot shorter than it was and we were gonna do a lot less than we did, but that's it. This is my day. It is coming to an end. Just gotta finish up some paperwork, office stuff, and head home. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. I will see you guys in another video. Have a blessed day.